In this tutorial, we'll take a brief look at the interface of Bonsai 3D. The modeling window is where all the 2D and 3D modeling of your objects take place. The reference plane is a visual aid in assisting you in orientating yourself in 3D space. The cursor automatically tracks on this plane, and this is your default drawing surface. The reference plane icons in the lower left corner control the creation and orientation of these reference planes. Please see additional Bonsai 3D tutorials for more information on the reference planes. When interfacing with the modeling window, the snapping icons at the bottom control how the cursor snaps to grid lines, guidelines, or parts of objects. Complete details on snapping are available in another tutorial. The Modeling Tools palette on the left contains all the tools needed to create, edit, transform, and texture your 2D and 3D objects. Move the mouse over the tools and a suite of functionally related tools will be automatically displayed. Keep the cursor over an icon for a moment and a hint will display the full name of the tool. A single click on the tool makes the tool active and ready to be executed. The name of each suite of icons is displayed on the left. If desired, you can tear off the suite of icons by simply clicking and dragging on the title bar. It should be noted that when a tool is selected, all the parameters for that tool are located in the Tool Options palette. For example, if I were to create a stair or perhaps a roof, you can see that all the parameters can be set before and after the generation of that object. Additional help on the selected tool can be found in the Actions palette in the upper left-hand corner. The Active Tools icon is displayed on the left. At the top is the name of the tool followed by a brief description of what the tool does. Below this description are instructions for what happens next. The Input palette just below the Actions palette displays numeric information when creating, editing, or transforming objects. Additional fields are displayed based on the current operation. For example, if we were to create a vector line, and I click once to begin drawing that vector line, and you can see that the angle and length numeric information is displayed in the input palette. The standard menus are for project-related items such as opening and saving, importing, project settings, display modes, and help. Often used menu items are also available in tool palettes. For example, New Project, Open, Close, and Save are available both in the menu items and in the tool icons. Numerous settings for your project, such as appearance and working units, can be set by selecting Project Settings from the File menu. This invokes the Project Setting dialog. Click on the Appearance tab and you can set your Bonsai 3D interface to any one of the predefined configurations, or you can manually adjust the appearance using your own custom settings. Click on the Working Units tab and you can set the numeric options and units, such as metric or English. Many of the menu items have a default key shortcut, which is located to the right. In the Edit pull-down menu, you can create your own custom key shortcuts, and you can also customize the entire interface by choosing the Preferences option. In the Windows pull-down menu, the Multi-View option lets you divide your window into multiple workspaces. This option can also be toggled with the multi-view icon located in the navigation palette. In Bonsai 3D, you can have multiple projects open at the same time. At the bottom of the Windows menu is a list of all the projects currently open. Select any project and make it the active window. Many standard view types, such as axonometric, perspective, or top or right side views, can be generated by selecting them from the Views pull-down menu. These items can also be selected in the Navigational Tool Palette. The Display menu lets you choose different methods of how your scene is rendered in the modeling window. Everything from wireframe to doodle rendering modes can also be selected in the Display icons. The wireframe method shows all the lines or edges of objects with no shading of the surfaces. Shaded Work is an OpenGL-based shaded rendering mode. This is the default display mode and is used when creating and editing objects. Shaded Full is also OpenGL based, but has additional features to produce a more enhanced view of your model, including textures, shadows, and backgrounds. Hidden Line produces a display where only the visible lines of a scene are shown. And the last display mode is Doodle. 
This is a rendering post-processor that affects line drawings. It produces images with a hand-drawn appearance. If desired, you can customize the appearance of any of these display modes. Just simply hold the mouse over an icon for a moment and all the parameters for that particular display mode will be revealed. On the right we have a list of stacked pellets that are locked together. We can simply drag and drop them into a different order and they actually snap into the new position. We can collapse or expand each of these pellets and we can even drag them outside of the stack. If we want to move it back in, just simply drag it back in and it'll snap into the position where we place it. All of the pellets in Bonsai 3D are listed in the pellets pull down menu. They can be turned on and off within the pellets menu or they can be turned off in the modeling window by simply closing that particular pellet. And the pellets can also be locked together. For example, if I were to move the tool options and maybe the navigation pellet, you can see that they actually lock together inside of the interface. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Basic Interface video tutorial.